Hi! Uh, today we're making the second of the blocks from our quilt block series. Um, we're going to be putting together a simple nine patch. These work really well in sample quilts, but sewn together so quickly um, you can create a pile of them and make a quilt from just this block alone. You'll need nine squares of fabric for this. You'll need to use at least two designs or colours um, to get the best effect from the block. Five from one fabric and four from the other. Each square needs to be 4.5 by 4.5 inches. I'm making this one a little differently uh, in order to show you a method I use to ensure exact points uh, between the fabrics. For this you'll need a 13.5 by 13.5 inch piece of fusible interfacing. Ensure whatever that you use is, is only fusible on one side. So firstly, lay the interfacing sticky side up. Lay your fabric squares right side up so that the back is against the sticky side of the interfacing. Make sure at this point that all the interfacing is covered or you'll, or you'll end up with uh, glue stuck to your iron. Iron all the squares in place. Now use the edges of the fabric as a guide to fold over where the first two columns join. Sew down that seam at a quarter inch seam allowance. While it's still folded over, cut the seam allowance down the centre or if you want to do this quickly, cut off a tiny bit of the edge like I am with a rotary cutter. This basically just means that if you prefer you can press the seams open. Um, for me, I decided to just press them downwards um, so I didn't really need to cut it, uh, but it would have been neater. Repeat that for the other column.
Rotate the block and do the same thing again to sew the seams running in the other direction. Turn it over and give it a press. And there you have it, perfect points every time. Now, if you plan to make an entire quilt from this particular block, I would suggest, as usual, not trimming this until you have them all made. That way you can trim them down um, to the size of the smallest. Now, I forgot to set the timer going for this one, uh, so it's not going in the 10 minute challenge category. However, it took less than 10 minutes to create the block using this method, which is great if you want to create a quilt top in a hurry. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Mm -hmm.